This video is going to serve as a part two to the how to use two home screen launchers on the Z Fold 3 or your foldable. So one thing that we ran into when it came to actually using two launchers was, well, hey, if I open up or close my device, it's going to close my um, actual app that I'm running if I actually use those two macros. Like it works. It definitely runs two launchers on a Z Fold 3, but I kind of want to keep my app open whenever I unfold my device. So check this out. Let's say you're looking at something here on the web and you want to crack it open to look at on the big screen here. See, right back to it. Let's do that again. Go back to the home screen on the main display. I got mine set to Niagara for my actual cover display. And let's go into, um, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Let's go into the Play Store. And I want to go ahead and look at this on the bigger screen now. The macro is set to go home, but then it's going to go ahead and put me right back into the last application I was looking at. So here's how you do this. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is I went ahead and created two. Well, I created two, but it turns out that I really just needed it for the one for the folding status here. So what I end up doing for the touch macro here, I'm going to go ahead and erase this so that I can create it with you all here. Actually, I'm gonna create it on the other screen so it's easier to see. Okay, so here inside of Big Spirit Routines, and if you're confused about how we got to this point, I'm gonna put a link to part one of this video um, up top here. So let's go ahead and add a new routine. And we're going to go ahead and go back down, just like in the last video, to Folding Stylus, and we're gonna to put to Completely Open. And then we're going to go to then, and we're going to go ahead and use that Routines Plus just like we did last time, and we're going to record a touch macro. And you can see I was playing around with it, trying to figure it out. And then we're going to go to Add, and I'm going to use um, One UI Home, because that's what I want to be on my main display. And when I hit Record, all the thing I did was this. Hit Record, go to the Task Manager, and go back to the last application. Stop. And then after that, I'm going to press hide so I don't see all those touches when I actually do it. I'm going to run it. I'm going to put one UI, nav, I'm going to put two so that way you guys know it's not the same one. Hit save. And now I'm going to say that I want this to be the actual touch macro that runs after my device is completely open. And I'm going to hit next. Fold in status. I'm going to go ahead and just call this uh, one UI, nav, two. That's one. Done. Okay. That's how it's gonna run. So let's check it out, let's try it out. Okay, just closed my device, 704, just saw on the timestamp before. And when I open it, oh well, I didn't open up an application. <laughs> All right, so let's go, let's do that again. Let's actually open up, um, open up Apple Music here. And, um, okay, I wanna see this on the big screen. Go ahead and crack it open. It's gonna go home, but then it's gonna go right back and open up the very last app that I was using. So this is a good way to go ahead and go back to using that last application that you just had open. And yeah, so if you want to do this, um, I did change my navigation to this just because I know that not all of the home screen launchers um, have upgraded to fully supporting the navigation where you just swipe up. So, so far, as of the recording of this video, <laughs> Um, let's, I'll show you exactly where I change that at. Look. Open up settings and then let's go ahead and scroll to display and then go ahead and go down to navigation bar. And then after that, we're going to change this to buttons. And then I changed mine from swipe gestures to buttons. And so far, as of the making of this video, this is the way that I've seen to get this to work. If you want to just open back up that last application you were using while using two home screen launchers. And hey, comment section is fantastic because we get to collaborate. Something that I love, love, love about YouTube. But yeah, go ahead and let me know if you've actually figured out a better way to do it because there's always another way as we can see from part two of this video. <laughs> so anyways, thanks for watching. Man, this was fun. Comment section is fantastic. <laughs> and I love that this actually works now, man anything let's see here let's go home taking your sweet time internet taking your sweet time <laughs> all right well yeah when you open it up it's going to it's going to go home but then it's going to go right back automatically and open up that last application this does work with two home screen launchers on the z fold 3 Woo! i'm happy <laughs>
very cool. Let's try a game. Let's see. Uh, let's try Knighthood. This is interesting because I've never ever, ever actually tried um, to do a game using this method. Um, let's see, look, first time I've even actually, you can tell I just switched to the navigation like this because it's giving me this prompt, but only does this the first time. Okay, so that's a little in here. Let's go ahead and crack it open. It should take me home. And then it should put me right back into my game. Yep, it works with games too. Yeah, you're good to go. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. And thank you, thank you, thank you for inspiring this video. Comment section, your greatness. <laughs>